Hello, my friends. Today we have something amazing to show you. What are we doing today? Um, I'm just going to start some seeds in this seed starting tray that we got from Walmart. Store. Walmart. Yes, you can probably get on Amazon, Walmart, whatever. Okay. okay this is so kind of cool. The lid goes up. Don't you have a thing that goes over too for greenhouse yeah. effect? Yeah. 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 With that. yeah I so, think there's like a clear cover that goes over it. So we've got some potting soil here. This is a potting mix. This is actually perlite and it has like, it'll hold moisture more like better than regular soil. So it's good for seeds because you want to keep them wet when you're starting seeds. So I'm just going to pour a bunch in here. Fill these up. And then certain seeds go down at different levels. I think we have like one inch, unless you moved them around. I had yeah, them. So once you put the um, soil in, you just read the back of the package and it'll tell you how deep the seed needs to be and um, so you just kind of follow the directions for that and then you you know spray them down with some moisture and keep them wet you don't want to like have it logged with water you want but you want it to stay moist but that's why I got this um, this potting mix because it has a lot a lot of peat moss which holds the moisture better than other stuff so kind of helps um helps you have a nice good wet okay so I made a nice mess here All right that's good mm -hmm. yeah, that's probably good this has a tray under so and all of these have holes at the bottom so you basically can water from uh, like below you don't have to like be constantly spraying once you like initially you missed it on top and then okay so we got we're doing some sunflowers and hey, can you hold this for one second just while she doesn't please no, don't press the button just hold this all right just like that all right, so this is one see. inch. So basically we're just gonna add the sunflowers here. Um, about an inch, make a little inch hole here. And you put a couple seeds in and then once they start uh, growing, you kind of just decide which one is uh, the stronger, healthier plant, and you leave that. Actually, there's not that many seeds, so we might not put. Mom, a can you like show an example of good seeds and bad seeds? Or uh, is it well, like... if it's broken, it's not really good. If it's a whole seed, then it's probably pretty good. Okay, um, Mom. What? Um, the seeds are actually so black. Yeah, these are little sunflower seeds. Um, so you put like one in each hole? Well, for these I will, um, for smaller seeds you might put more than one, but um, there's not that many seeds. So maybe I'll put two if there's enough. Let's put one and then since there's extra, I'll go ahead and put two in the row. Mom? Mom? What? Um, we'll see that I look so Oops. You what? Hey Ruth, you want to get some water? Or do you have water already? Um, I'm going to use the hose. Okay. Because it has like a mist, a mist uh, thing. Alright, so gonna... could you also like use a spray bottle? Yeah, you can. If it has like a Okay, 
Okay, so we got the seeds in. Um, we just follow the back of the package. It'll tell you an inch, quarter inch, eighth of an inch, half an inch, and then we're gonna just kind of like cover these um, with some soil. You don't wanna really like pack it down tight or anything like that. Um, um Mom, yes. is it good if the soil is already wet or are you supposed to like wet it after it's um, buried? You're gonna wet it after it's buried. Okay. And also we'll put some water under so it can start drawing water from underneath. So, um, you just want to be careful when you water it, you don't disturb the seed. So we're going to put it on mist. On our hose we have like a mist. Um, and you can use a spray bottle that you have on like a wide spray so it doesn't, you know, or maybe you could use a watering can if it has like really little holes. Yeah, you can use a watering can. Just be very gentle so that you don't disturb the seeds and bring them to the surface. You want to keep them underneath the dirt. And um, keep them wet until they start to grow. And then you want to continue to water them, but maybe not excessively, but um, you want to keep them moist. So, um, but we'll mom, and... um, if you're like a different kind of flower that doesn't like it all moist, should you like keep the soil dry or does it have to stay moist? When you're sprouting the seeds, you keep them moist. Once they're growing, then you kind of have to learn, well, huh? you have to learn what, you know, what the plant likes and depending on where you plant it in a pot or the ground, it all makes a difference so we'll just kind of wet the top here it'd be nice if it mixed it a little bit better there we go move back a little bit and kind of just give it a nice mixing here Okay, that's probably about enough for now. And then what I'm going to do is just put some water underneath. And I spray, which I probably should have done before we started. So it'll kind of draw water up from the bottom. Let's see, I'm just going to put maybe like... Um, just The bottom of the... So, like, to at least touch the bottom, like, the holes? Yeah. Okay, so, there we go. We got that done. And then, basically, we're going to put the lid on. Here. Why do you need to put the lid on? Um, this just helps the moisture stay in. So, it doesn't, like, get dried out as easy you want to keep the seeds wet so this kind of keeps the moisture in keeps it going and then oh i can already see it starting to grow and you check you want to check it and make sure this doesn't get dry um and if the soil dries out then you might lose your little seedlings but well mom how much so do you like check it a day like just once, once a day is good every minute honey Every minute. <laughs> Every minute, come check it. All right, please sub to our notifications. Is there anything else you want to tell them? No, that's it. All right, everyone, love y'all. You're amazing. Bye.